Now I'm going to give you an orientation to the camera body and buttons. Up here you'll find the record button. Next to that is the transport control. At the front of the camera is the micro four thirds lens mount. To remove the lens, press the button on the side and simply twist. To attach the lens, line up the red dot on the lens with the red dot on the lens mount, then turn to the right until you hear it click. Media Resources has no additional MFT lenses, so the lens that you get in the kit should stay on the camera. On the back is the battery cover, and inside you'll find a lithium ion battery, a media card, and a USB mini B port. On the left side of the camera, you'll see various ports here. Up at the top is the LANC remote. Underneath that is the headphone jack, audio in, HDMI out, and power. The LCD screen is not a touch screen. Do not use cleaning products on the screen. Only use the microfiber cloth provided for cleaning. The top left is the iris control. This button is for focus peaking or autofocus, LCD zoom, menu and navigation, the power on and off, the iris button. When using video dynamic range settings, single press will set an average exposure based on highlights and shadows in your shot. When using film dynamic range settings, this will set exposure to the brightest highlight in your shot. Set aperture manually by pressing the left and right directional buttons. Focus button. When using a compatible autofocus lens, press the focus button once to autofocus. A quick double press of the focus button activates focus peaking. Focus zoom. Double press OK to zoom in for adjusting focus at a 1 to 1 pixel scale. Double press OK again to zoom out. Menu settings. Bypass the dashboard by holding down the menu button. The optimum ISO setting for the pocket cinema camera and cinema camera is 800 ASA with a maximum ISO of 1600 ASA. Weight balance. 2500 through 4800K are for various conditions under tungsten, incandescent, or fluorescent light. 5000 to 5600K are for outdoors on a clear sunny day. 6000 to 8000K are for a variety of daylight conditions. Shutter angle. 360 degrees is considered wide open and allows maximum light onto the sensor. 180 degrees is the optimum shutter angle. Microphone input. The built-in microphones record to audio channels 1 and 2 when no external audio source is connected. Channel 1 and channel 2 input levels. To prevent damage, the camera will automatically switch to line level input if the input levels are over the limit for a sustained period of time. Headphone and speaker volume. The speakers will only work in playback. Recording format. This camera can record in ProRes HQ, ProRes 422, ProRes LT, ProRes Proxy, or RAW recording formats. Dynamic range. In the film mode, this has 13 stops of dynamic range. In the video setting, it uses the Rec. 709 standard for high definition video. This camera can shoot in 23.98, 24, 25, 2997, or 30 frames per second. Time lapse. This setting allows you to record a still frame at various intervals. The dynamic range setting of the LCD is independent to the dynamic range set in the recorder settings. After Zebra, there is a language option, Japanese and Chinese. Please return the language to English before returning the camera to media resources. Frame guides. There are several different aspect ratios that you can choose from here. LCD overlay. You can turn the frame guides on or off for the LCD independently of the SDI HDMI output. So the camera displays several uh, on-screen meters that you can use um, as guides. The histogram display shows the distribution of the luminance in your video. Pure black is on the far left of the display and pure white is on the far right of the display. This indicator shows the remaining recording time for your SSD or SD card. The time is shown in hours and minutes and will vary according to your selected frame rate and codec. Peak audio. For optimum audio quality, adjust your audio levels until the peak averages at minus 12 dB 
but does not peak beyond zero dB. Another thing that you'll need to do before you start recording is to format your media card. HFS Plus is also known as Mac OS Extended. It's the recommended format as it supports journaling. Data on journaled media is more recoverable and less likely to be corrupted. Take the time to familiarize yourself with the camera and the menus before taking it out onto set.